In the 1960s, while the world worried about nuclear winter and mullets were just a twinkle in someone's cum, the U.S. Air Force realized it had a logistics problem. The Cold War was heating up faster than a cup of instant ramen, and America needed to be able to move tanks, troops, and tacos across the globe in record time. Sea transport was too slow, and existing aircraft like the C-133 Cargo Master were maxed out. Thus, the military dreamt up the ultimate heavyweight champion of the skies a strategic airlifter that could carry 100,000 pounds over 5,000 nautical miles, even from unpaved, rugged runways. It was not a pipe dream. It was the start of the CXHLS program, which would eventually give us the flying beast known as the C-5 Galaxy. Lockheed's winning blueprint. Several aerospace giants entered the CXHLS race, but in 1965, Lockheed snatched the crown with a bold design, a high-wing four-engine cargo plane with a nose that could open like a Pez dispenser. Thus was born the original C-5A Galaxy, measuring 247 feet in length, and with a wingspan of 222 feet, it was larger than a Boeing 747 and probably scarier than your in-law's holiday visits. The cargo bay was a cavernous 34,000 500 cubic feet enough to haul two M1 Abrams tanks, 16 Humvees, or 350 fully geared soldiers. With nose loading access and a kneeling landing gear for easy cargo handling, it was built for battle, logistics, and impressive party tricks at air shows. Cracked wings and engineering nightmares. Of course, when you try to build something the size of a flying football field, things are bound to get bumpy. The C-5A's early years were played by technical issues, especially its wings. During test flights, engineers discovered cracks never a good sign when you are trying to defy gravity. Turns out, a combination of design flaws and production hiccups had turned the wings into structural drama queens. The Air Force had to ground the fleet while Lockheed reinforced the wings with extra metal and tweaks, which unfortunately added weight and sap performance. But hey, it did not crash so we'll call that a win. Rebirth of a giant. Despite the growing pains, the C-5's sheer utility kept it in the game. By the 1980s, the Air Force launched a series of upgrades to modernize and toughen the aircraft. Then came the big kahuna in the late 1990s, the Reliability Enhancement and Re-Engineing Program. That's government speak for let's give this thing a serious glow up. Reliability enhancement and re-engineering program introduced over 70 modifications, from fresh wings to high-tech avionics. The final result was the C-5M Super Galaxy, a reimagined Titan that could do everything the original could, but faster, stronger, and with fewer mechanical tantrums. Meet the CX-6 powerhouses. The heart of the Super Galaxy makeover was the installation of four General Electric CS-6 to 80 C2 engines. These were serious game-changers, offering 22% more thrust than the old engines, which meant the C-5M could lift heavier payloads and get airborne quicker, even from hot, high, or just plain dodgy airstrips. The CF-6 were also fuel-efficient and surprisingly quiet. That meant the aircraft could go farther while whispering sweet jet noises instead of roaring like a freight train. Eco-friendly-ish and deadly? A rare combo, but the C-5M nailed it a glass house that actually works. The C5M didn't just get new muscles, it got a whole new brain too. The old analog cockpit, which looked like something from a Cold War museum, was replaced with a modern glass cockpit. Think slick digital displays, a smarter autopilot, and an upgraded flight director system that could practically fly itself, almost. These changes did not just reduce pilot workload, they boosted confidence. No more second-guessing if that dial was spinning out of anxiety or turbulence. For the crew, it was like trading a flip phone for a flagship smartphone. Smooth, sharp, smart. Load faster, fly smarter. Loading the old C5A was like trying to park a yacht in a shopping mall. It worked, but barely, and it took forever. The C5M solved that with a revamped cargo handling system that turned the whole loading experience from a logistical nightmare into a seamless ballet of machines and manpower. Thanks to new systems and automation, it can now be fully loaded or unloaded in a fraction of the time it used to take an absolute game-changer during time-sensitive missions. Whether it's rolling in M1 Abrams tanks, 
Black Hawk helicopters, or hundreds of pallets of emergency supplies. This bird handles it all with speed and grace. Its nose-loading door, wide cargo bay, and kneeling landing gear turn military logistics into a smooth science. In disaster zones or war zones, time is everything, and the C-5M doesn't waste a second. Self-defense tech, that would make a spy blush. Sure, the C-5M is not a stealth bomber, but that doesn't mean it's defenseless. This Sky Beast comes with a whole toolkit of countermeasures designed to keep it safe even in the most hostile skies. We're talking radar warning receivers that act like an aircraft's sixth sense, flare and chaff dispensers, to full heat-seeking and radar-guided missiles, and a missile approach warning system that screams incoming before the pilot even flinches. In an age where aerial threats are faster and smarter, the C-5M brings its own brand of secret agent sophistication. It might be the size of a football field, but it's got enough tricks to make a fighter jet think twice. No, it won't turn invisible, but it just might disappear off your radar long enough to save lives and complete the mission. From war zones to earthquakes. If there's a crisis somewhere in the world, chances are the C-5M Super Galaxy is already on the way loaded with aid, equipment, or troops. It's the logistical equivalent of Batman's utility belt, ready for any challenge thrown its way. From the scorching deserts of the Middle East to the ice-blasted runways of the Arctic, this Sky Titan delivers with pinpoint precision. It played pivotal roles in operations like Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom, moving massive equipment with an efficiency few aircraft could match. And when nature strikes, the C-5M shifts gears to become a humanitarian hero airlifting disaster relief supplies, food, medicine, and even field hospitals. Whether it's a war zone or a rescue mission, this aircraft arrives like a guardian angel with wings. It doesn't just drop cargo. It drops hope and sometimes, the very lifeline people cling to in their darkest hour. A legacy that soars beyond steel and screws. The C-5M Super Galaxy isn't just a machine, it's a flying legacy etched into the blueprint of military history. It represents decades of engineering grit, strategic evolution, and a relentless commitment to innovation in the face of ever-changing threats. Thanks to upgrades like reliability enhancement and re-engineering program, this aircraft isn't winding down its gearing up to serve through the 2040s and beyond, like an airborne veteran refusing to retire. But its importance isn't just mechanical, it's symbolic. The C-5M stands for more than just firepower or logistics, it stands for readiness, reliability, and resilience. It's the plane that shows up when others can't, carrying dreams, defenses, and relief through the skies. Whether hauling tanks into battle or food into famine zones, it proves one simple truth. Giants don't fade away, they evolve, and they soar with purpose. If you're amazed that a flying fortress like the C-5M can haul tanks and dodge missiles, imagine what's coming next. Smash that like button if you love engineering marbles that defy gravity and expectations. Subscribe now so you never miss a deep dive into the world's most powerful machines. Got a favorite military aircraft? Drop it in the comments, we might just cover it next. Until then, stay curious, stay inspired, and keep your eyes on the skies.